Hey everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright here with your unemployment update for Saturday, September 12, 2020. And yes, I got in a fight with the lawnmower. And thank you for your compliments regarding the haircut. Find out which state is warning their residents that the $300 weekly unemployment benefit will need to be paid back. Seriously. Which state is no longer eligible for the extra weeks of the LWA payments, including tons of comments that have come in in regards to a particular state, and which two new states got approved for the extra $300 unemployment benefit boost after this. Hey everybody, I'm Andrew Cartwright. For the best news and information on how to master and dominate your money, crush your money, save it, protect it, make more of it, and also your business and your life, stay tuned to the channel. Also, when we hit 90,000 subscribers, we have a tradition here. We pick a random subscriber. I'm gonna give $900 away to a random person that puts a comment in here. So, subscribe, like, comment, and that's it. You can say the weather, a number, you can put anything you want there. People even said uh, random comment here, which is fine. That works. And um, also, grab your Weeble stock down below. Open up an account. You could have a stock for as much as $1,600 just for opening an account. You don't have to buy a stock. You just get a stock. But first, yes, there's always a first. Got to be a first. While many may not see a stimulus check possibly till November, because they're all talking about, yeah, it's probably not going to be till an election, which is ridiculous. We all know this is crazy. They need to do something. They're, both sides are just ridiculous. And they're going to pass a bill to go ahead and fund themselves for because their budget's due by the end of this month. Wisconsin residents who are currently receiving an extra $300 in weekly unemployment benefits are being warned that if a stimulus package is signed, they will need to return their benefits. Yes, I kid you not. They're literally saying that to people that if something is signed, they're going to have to return the money. When they sign the bill, the short term, three weeks, which we're also hearing from many states that have sent out emails and text messages saying, that three weeks is all they're getting of this benefit, to hear Wisconsin say that you may have to pay this money back is ridiculous considering how bad things are already. A spokesman from Wisconsin Department of Work, uh, Workforce Development said that the state is following guidance from the Federal Emergency Management Agency, <laughs> creating another emergency, which is funding Trump's lost wages assistance program and the Department of Labor. Yes, they're creating their own emergencies now, right? Because who wouldn't be going, I got to pay this money back. Are we serious? It's unclear and incredibly confusing whether the checks will be retroactive to August 1st, meaning the checks could overlap one another, right? which is what we talked about, how people could literally get paid twice from that other bill that got voted down in the Senate. That was actually one that would pay you twice. We looked at it and you'd be paid your PUA or your UI and then the uh, LWA on top of this new bill, which was incredible. We thought, wow, that's great. And with no news from Congress on a stimulus package, it questions whether the reliability of these LWA funds are even reliable as many states are telling people that they've got three weeks we got an official message that from fema that it was six weeks although we're hearing from people in a lot of states in the comments so please leave a comment down below of what's happening in your state because it's important to let people know because people are like what what was going on you know these lwa funds yes so colorado Indiana, Georgia, Iowa, Alabama, Idaho, Arizona, Alaska, I mean, not, um, yes, Alaska, Arkansas, Hawaii, and Nebraska said they aren't advising recipients to return the money. Well, thank you. So they don't say, well, here's $300. Oh, we need that back. But Wisconsin is warning residents as they try to file their unemployment claims, however, quote, the DWD right, is anticipating that 
if Congress passes new legislation, it will begin once Trump's lost wages assistance program lapses for the week ending September 5th. Yeah, so FEMA said it's already done. FEMA provides the funds, but it is up to each state how to disperse and to make the eligibility requirements. Of course, feds don't require you to prove that you're looking for a job. Some states do in their requirement. It wasn't part of the CARES Act. You didn't have to prove that you were looking for work. Wisconsin is warning their residents over something that may or may not happen. How crazy is that in this uncertain times that Wisconsin is like literally scaring their people and some phone calls, maybe some research, a couple of emails, you know, get it cleared up before you scare people. Don't, I mean, they're like literally giving them their problem, right? Make a decision, stick to it. But asking for money back after you've given it when people are paycheck to paycheck, usually trying to pay their bills and stay above water, give me a break. And up next, another weird story. The great state of Florida can no longer receive a total of six weeks of $300 weekly unemployment benefits as they no longer qualify. Who'd they piss off? Did somebody watch Marco's tweet? I did about what he was saying after the vote and go, yeah, Florida, no, you're, you're done. Yes, Florida opted out of contributing the $100 each week as FEMA provides the $300 a week. Yes, Florida opt out. Florida offered the lowest number of weeks in the unemployment benefits in the nation with only 12 weeks. That's it, 12 weeks. So if you're in Florida, boy, it's been a mess, right? We've seen the comments all along. It's been a long history of just upset in Florida. This, is, this means that, quote, less than 19% of Floridians collecting unemployment are receiving state money. Yes, 19%. Because people who are filing for unemployment due to that thing out there are maxed out in their benefits. So they're cut off. So they're not getting any. FEMA says, quote, at least 25% of all employment benefits paid out of Florida must come from state coffers. So if the state's not kicking in, then the feds can't kick in. So, and if you've hit your max, this is ridiculous. It is estimated that unless Florida can cough up roughly $50 million dollars, to make up for the difference, the state will lose out on $240 million in benefits a week. Now think about that. You pay $50, you get $240 from the federal government. It's like $240 million dropping into your state. People spend it. It's good for your state. It's good for everybody. Make the investment. You get <coughs> almost five times back in your economy. So come on. As the tropical storm hits Florida, and people need the money now more than ever? Seriously, Florida is being hit in more ways than one. I'm sorry, guys. I know we have a lot of people in Florida that watch this. Thank you guys for watching, appreciate you. Sorry that this is going on to you, that really sucks. They need to get it together. And finally, the state that's, uh, that have been accepted in the LWA, yes, the Lost Wages Assistance Program that sent out its $300 per week in unemployment benefits is Nevada and the U.S. Virgin Islands. Nevada's had a lot of struggles. In fact, one of their vendors that got a $5 million contract was recently, um, they're letting them go and it's coming back to the state because they got so many complaints from the call center that uh, they had a $5 million contract, $5 million to answer those calls. They said they were overwhelmed, couldn't handle it. The complaints were just ridiculous. So now it's going back to Nevada to handle. So Dieter, the department, uh, is going to take over the calls. State officials in Nevada have stated that they still need to implement technology changes, quote, to accomplish and disperse the Dieter estimates it could be anywhere between four to six weeks. So lots of problems in Nevada. As of now, the five states who have exhausted their six weeks of $300 weekly unemployment benefits are, they were quick to get out of the gate, Arizona, Missouri, Montana, 
Tennessee, and Texas, those states were on it. Now we need the politicians to get on it. The 15 states that have started paying the extra unemployment benefits are, these are people that are now paying it, California, Utah, New Mexico, Idaho, Minnesota, Georgia, Alabama, Florida, Louisiana, North Carolina, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, Iowa, and Michigan. Yes, Michigan coming up the lead. But you're now getting paid. So don't miss out on these life-saving funds that could help you get through the rest of this crazy 2020. It's nuts, right? We got Conor McGregor. He's going to be out of work for a little while, I think. He just got arrested. Yes, you have to look that one up. So I think he'll be out of work for just a bit. I think he was in France when he got arrested. Oops, sorry, Connor. We're here in UFC country in Nevada. So I know a lot of the UFC fighters. I used to Muay Thai kickbox for quite a few years. To all the gig workers, self-employed and independent contractors or 1099 workers, you guys, you're eligible. So don't forget to check into your PUA, your PUA, which is part of the CARES Act so that you can collect those benefits Regardless of whether we get a stimulus bill, a stimulus package, or any lift, or LWA stops, or they don't pass another bill, you are covered, the PUA and the UI, till the end of the year. Your unemployment funds will still be there. Problem is, it'll only be like a lower percentage, maybe 45%. So you're not getting everything. But at least, maybe you can hang on. Maybe you got to get some extra side hustles going on to be able to cover the difference. But get your state benefits plus the extra... 18 or $2,400 unemployment check from the feds just by submitting your unemployment history and explaining that you've been out due to this thing out there impacting your ability to earn money. So tell the truth. Check with your state's unemployment and PUA. A lot of times there's two different places, two different call centers. Just tell them the truth and get the money that you deserve in your bank account. Don't make up a job because they'll look for it. This has happened. There's lots of people in the comments that said, yeah, I said I was working when I was Uber driving and I didn't pay into the system and I've been stuck, still stuck for months now. A lot of people are still not collecting because they missed up and can't get through to fix their situation. So be careful that you tell them the truth and exactly what your situation is. Thank you for watching and sharing your experience with the PUA, the PUA and the FPUC and your unemployment insurance benefits in your state i hope you have a great saturday stay healthy safe out there protect yourself and uh, i hope that uh, we get through this and we can party like it's 2021 apparently it looks like we're going to be waiting that long to have to really get our party back on i'm andrew cartwright take care i love you